Hello, hello, hello. How are you guys doing this evening? It is 10.51 p.m. on this beautiful summer evening in Indianapolis. It is 73 degrees. I'm down to almost a quarter of a tank of gas, so I think I need to stop and get gas at some point. Um, I have a massive headache tonight, <laughs> but I'm kind of trying to push through. Um, I've had it for the better part of the end of the day. Um, and it's not a migraine, because you guys know I have a migraine disorder associated with my epilepsy. So if you don't, if, you, if you're new to my channel, you don't know I have epilepsy. The juvenile myoclonic epilepsy. And then I have a migraine disorder with it. But this isn't a migraine, this is a headache, and I can totally tell the difference. Um, and I really think it's because I didn't get caffeine today. Um, and I'm, it's, I'm not trying to not get caffeine because I went later at like 8.30 and I went and got this coffee from McDonald's. I was like, I have to have some. And this actually kind of started to help a little bit. So I think that I drank so much caffeine that I felt like I was like going maybe through like, I don't know, maybe that's it. It didn't rain today usually, you know, like that sometimes. But that's more associated with my migraine. So I don't know why I had a headache today unless it was allergies or something like that but I wasn't really sneezing or anything so it didn't feel, feel like an allergy headache either I really think it was the caffeine um, I was around the house and my plan was I'm gonna film these videos and then go get my coffee while they're uploading and I was gonna do a review at Dunkin Donuts too and because um, uh, my friend Stephanie sent me uh, a screenshot of Dunkin' Donuts new drinks. They have these new refresher drinks, so I was gonna review those. But I didn't even leave the house until like eight o'clock. Maybe it was like 10 till eight, because I pulled through Starbucks to get coffee. Um, I was gonna get coffee. The reason why I didn't get coffee at Dunkin' Donuts will make sense down the road. I'm gonna do a review. Well, I'm gonna compare the two iced coffees from Starbucks to Dunkin' Donuts. So I didn't wanna get the, I've already done the iced coffee once on Dunkin' Donuts. So, um, what is this person doing? Okay, they slowed down and were like, should I go through the red light? And then they ran the red light, <laughs> the flashing red light. So anyway, um, so yeah, I, but Starbucks was closed. So I don't know, Starbucks must close early or something. And then I drove to Dunkin' Donuts to do the review, and so I thought, well, I'll just get a cup of coffee there, and they were closed. So I don't know why all these places close so early. And, um, so then, um, who is texting me? Somebody is texting me while I'm pulling through the McDonald's parking lot here. Let me see who is texting me. Um, hold on one second. I will be right, at three minutes. I'm already gonna interrupt it. I'll be right back Okay, I'm back and I'm starting to get like all these text messages. So <laughs> My husband was texting me about He was like I'm late to the news. I already actually told him about this About uh, the uh, uh, The Supreme Court has decided LGBT people can sue for workplace bias and, and then, so anyway, he was like, I, I just texted him, I was like, didn't I, I thought that I told you this. It's like, I'm almost positive I did. So he was, Alex was texting me about that. I don't know that you guys know, but like back in the day, Alex and I were like huge um, advocates and did a lot of speaking engagements and things for marriage equality and anti-bullying. Um, so, there's that, and then the other one was, yeah, a text from a friend of mine. So anyway, okay, what was I saying? I don't know. Anyway, I went to Dunkin' Donuts, they were closed, so then I was bitter, <laughs> because everything was closed. I couldn't do my review, which I'd waited too long. I mean, I have reviews. I have a Bark Box and a Dapper Dog Box at home, but I just really, the dog's got a lot of attention today. Look at that car, my God, it looks like it burned up or something. I guess I have to show you this. Look at this. This is crazy. It's... Tell me this car does not look like it got burned up. Like that it caught on fire or something. This looks like it's mud all over ash or something. That's 
It's so strange, isn't it? Anyway, I, um, so, what was I going to say? I totally forgot what I was going to say. So yeah, so I left there. I didn't, I didn't want to do the dog box reviews. The dogs got so much attention today. Our neighbors um, were outside literally all day long, so the dogs were running around and playing with their dog and stuff. And um, so I was just, um, like make a video, run outside, sit on the patio. It was such a nice day today. It was just so beautiful. Every one of these days, I like plan to get to the pool and I never get to the pool though. That's kind of my thing. And actually today I got up a little bit. Well, I got up, <laughs> I didn't get up super early, but I got up earlier than I usually do. We'll just leave it at that. Um, so I, what was I gonna say? Well, I got up and then I went back to sleep and then I got up again, so we'll just put it there. <clears throat> Did I, do I usually go this way? Oh yeah, there's that Sangarita place. Um, oh no, 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 I don't usually go this way. I usually come down here through Broader Pool Vintage and what's this restaurant over here called? Oh no, I do, I came by that restaurant the other day because I talked about it on here. So then I um, was driving around and I was talking to friends and that was when I went and got my coffee. I almost couldn't even talk on the phone because my head hurt so bad at that point. And like Alex called me and he was like on his way home from work and stuff. And I was talking to him and um, he was like, um, he said he was super tired. So we were gonna go out to dinner tonight actually with Melissa and Jason and Aaron and Eric to Olive Garden, but then Aaron said that she wanted, like, she was like, can we take a, um, can we do a rain check because tonight doesn't work for them for some reason. So we ended up not doing that. And so then Alex came home and I was gonna take a nap, I was gonna lay down because my head was hurting so bad, but we ended up sitting there talking for probably like an hour, just about so many things. We talked about his birthday and, so Alex has decided what he wants to do for his birthday. Did I say this last night? He wants to have like a pool day and then he wants to have like, he's gonna have like two or three friends over, like it, like Sarah and Amy and like one of his other close friends. And then he was gonna have the family over, but like Carlos is out of town, so I guess it's just gonna be Liliana and the kids and his mom and grandma. So that's who's coming over. And then we're gonna set up this screen out in the backyard, and because we have a projector, and we're gonna um, watch a movie on this projector. I don't know what movie yet. So I told him, I said, tonight, I was like, well, it got kind of really sad. So anyway, but I told him, I said, well, I could get some candy and popcorn and we could do what my mom used to do when I was a kid and we can set up like a concession stand in the kitchen or something, you know? And he was like, I mean, if you wanna do that, we can. And I was like, babe, what's wrong? Like, you're just, you seem so sad about your birthday this year. And he's like, I'm not, he's like, it's not about that. He was like, I don't really care. Because I said to him, I said, well, if, because it's possibly supposed to rain and thunderstorm on Sunday. So I said, if that happens, I said, do you want to, like, we could all just like go out to dinner and then like maybe like Liliana and the kids would stay at home and like maybe like your mom and like, because I think you can only go out to dinner with six people. So it'd be like your mom and me and Sarah and Amy and his other friend and then his grandma. Like we could go out to dinner, right? And he was like, I don't think I want to do that. Like if, if it rains and we can't do the movie, then I don't want to, um, I don't want to go out to dinner. And I said, okay. I said, well, what would you rather do instead? And he goes, nothing, just, I don't want to do anything. And I was like, well, what's going on, you know? He goes, well, because we were talking about vacations before that, I'll tell you that in just a second. But anyway, so he like got all teary eyed and just like started crying. And I was like, babe, what's going on? And he just kind of like shook his head like he didn't want to talk about it. And so I just sat there for a second and he was like, this is the first birthday without pee pee. And he just was so crushed, you know, like he just was so crushed. And I felt that so bad for him and like, he's just like, pee pee is just such a big part of summer for me, you know, like and seeing him run around outside and he's so good to Boo and Tucker now. like. Boo and Tucker literally lay on him the entire night. Like they wait for him to come home, you know, but he's like, he's like, I just miss PP so bad. And he was like, I didn't realize it until, you know, like I started thinking about it the other night and like summer and my birthday and stuff. So I 
And I miss BP too. I miss him so much, you know, like, I just miss him so much. So, I get it, you know, like, I respect that. And he was like, you know, maybe my attitude will change this weekend. He was like, but I just want to kind of do, I don't want to, he's like, I don't want to feel like I have to do anything to entertain anybody else. He was like, I just want to have like a day for myself. And like, I totally, I mean, that's what I do for my birthday anyway, you know? But I was talking to him about trips and stuff because I had looked at Mexico because I thought, well, maybe going to a resort, like even if we're going out of the country, I can't imagine that many people will be on a plane to fly from, you know, Indianapolis to Mexico. So I thought, well, maybe that would be like a safe trip because there won't be that many people in a, a resort anyway. Plus, you're just going to the restaurant, your your room, and the pool. So I can't, like, you know, like the risk factor isn't that bad, I would think. I'm like literally getting nonstop text messages right now. I mean, this never happens to me. I never, uh, nobody ever texts me. So anyway, so, uh, I mean, people text me, but not like this. So, I looked at Mexico, but I thought like maybe early, like late July, early August, which is not a great time to go to Mexico because the possibility of storms and stuff. And so I said something about like, well, would you like to do like Mexico like we did last year? His family had, we had thought about like, his family like getting a place in Puerto Rico, like a house in Puerto Rico for Christmas and New Year's, but like nothing has really been said about it. And he said something, I guess, to Liliana, and Liliana was like, yeah, I don't know that I, like, I don't want to plan for that, and then, like, things not be safe. So I had talked to Melissa last night, because I was going to surprise Alex. Melissa and Jason usually go, to, I thought they usually go to Vegas in August. Like, we usually miss them by a couple days, because we're out there for our anniversary. But she said that was just, like, two years ago, and they were out there for, like, a convention for Jason or something. So... Um, so I was like, she's like, but we're going to go in September, I think. Um, and I said, well, when are you going to go? And she's like, I think we're going to go like the middle of September. Like, so it's not like the Labor Day, like huge, crazy crowds. And it's not like, um, my head is hurting me so bad. And she was like, and the heat, she was like, I can't do like the 110, 115 degree heat. So she was like, if we go in, um, September it'll be a little bit better because I like to lay out by the pools. So I said that to Alex tonight about doing it and he was like don't plan it yet. He goes like let, let's let that be a, like a last minute thing and I said okay and I said I wasn't going to. I said I was going to wait till probably like the first of August anyway to see how things are and he had talked to his cousin Maya. Now this is all just word of mouth. This isn't anything like this is just what Maya told him. So Maya told him that I actually should go look it up before I say it but she told him, because she hasn't gone back to work yet, and Maya works in a restaurant. She also does, like, um, so Maya is, like, a waitress in a restaurant, like, right on the strip. And, um, Beer Park, if you've ever been to it. But anyway, it's, uh, like, next to the plane at Hollywood, and the Paris, it's right, actually right on, next to, uh, the Paris. And, um, that person had the weirdest turn lights I've ever seen. And then, um, so she said one of her friends, she was talking to her friends, and he was like, I wouldn't go back to work yet because they're going to close the strip down is what he had heard again. Because, like, apparently they've, they're like, numbers are going back up in Vegas. I don't know this to be true. I'm just telling you what I heard through the grapevine. So, and then there was something else that she said. I'll look it up here in just a second um, to see if it's true. But... about something closing down in Vegas. So Alex was like, I don't want to plan a trip and get excited about it and then not be able to go. He was like, let's just, you know, he goes, I'm not, he goes, I, I kind of feel like 2020 at the, or year 2020 is kind of like, he goes, let's just enjoy it at home. He was like, we don't, if, if we can travel because they say it's safe to travel again, then we'll travel. And I was like, okay. I said, but I'm kind of like really like, I feel like I need to like get out of here. So like, even if we could just like go rent a place somewhere on a beach and drive, like, would you be willing to do that? He was like, yeah, I would totally do that. But like, he didn't seem real excited about it. So he was like, Peter, he was like, cause he was kind of sad tonight about PP and stuff. He was like, let's have this talk again next week. And I was like, okay. Cause he was like, you know, I think that, you know, once I get excited about my birthday and whatever, things will be better and we can have that conversation. So I was like, okay. 
So, I don't know. I was kind of hoping we would travel, but maybe it looks like we won't be traveling. So, I don't know. It's totally up in the air right now. I'm op I, Honestly, I'm kind of open to anything. But I want to do it safe, too. Like, I don't want to put myself in harm's way. I don't want to, like, you know, go somewhere that... Look at that Jeep Cherokee. My God, that color is gorgeous. It's like a plastic gray. I don't even know how to explain it. Um, but I don't want to put myself in harm's way either, you know? Like, I want to... Um, like, whatever, you know... I don't know, and then maybe I don't need to, I don't know, maybe I don't need to go anywhere this summer. Yeah, here it is. So this is what Maya said. Las Vegas, I can't believe there's not more articles on it. Las Vegas Bellagio casino worker tests positive for coronavirus. Mayfair Supper Club at Bellagio, where the worker served on the kitchen staff, was last open Sunday before it temporarily shut down out of caution. The employee received the diagnosis before reporting into work Wednesday, according to the Las Vegas. I wonder, so. Anyway, I don't know. Makes me not really want to go to Las Vegas right now. Um, and we talked about going to Miami because our, so, you know, our friend owns condos down there. And, um, oh, there's that Jeep Cherokee. It's beautiful. I love that. It's like, I can't even explain it to you. It looks like silly putty, but gray. It was gorgeous. And so I told Alex, I said, well, we can maybe, like, you know, go stay at the Fountain Blue. Because we, you know, loved it there. And I said, because, you know, it was, like, a, this big condo area there. And I said, and maybe, um, you know, like, just go to the grocery store and get food and just eat in the room and order room service and stuff, you know, like and eat outside on site and never really leave the fountain blue, you know? Um, I'd be totally down to do that. I'd even drive to Miami. My husband won't drive to Miami. He will say absolutely not. But uh, I would drive to Miami, you know? Um, I think it would be fun to do that. And um, And just stay in the hotel and, like, just go to the beach, you know, in the pool. The Fountain Blue, the beach is so spread out that you're literally 10 to 15 feet away from everybody anyway. And they deliver food on the beach. You could get food on the beach. Go in the ocean. The ocean is gorgeous there, you know. But, I mean, it's just not a great time to go to Miami either because of, like, the storms in the summer and stuff like that. But I would be totally down to do that. I think if we do travel, it would be a last-minute kind of thing. Like, I get on here and I'm like, okay, we're leaving in two days to go to Miami. You know what I mean? Like, I just think... It is what it is. So y'all notice I haven't been talking about Tanya this week, right? Well, Tanya is in, um, she has been in Tennessee at her lake house. Um, and so she, um, she went down there with her husband and then her son drove up and brought two of her step grandkids and then it was her niece and her niece's baby and maybe husband. I'm not sure. But, um, so yeah. So, Tani went down there to, to, well, there's like a family lake house. I don't think she stayed in the family lake house this week. I think she got, uh, she rented another house. Um, because there's like a family one that like the cousin to use and stuff down there. Because she's got like... You know, Tanya's got a big family, so. Um, but she was down, I think, at 
Lake Norris, Tennessee, because that's where we used to go. And I talked to her like twice. She was having a blast just being with her son and seeing him again and sitting on the patio. The night that I talked to her, the first night that I talked to her, she was like sitting on the patio having a cup of coffee and she took a video of a deer. Like the deer was like 15 feet away from her just walking through the yard and she was so relaxed and um, so happy to just kind of, you know, like disconnect and she's got this uh She's got this great girl that's working for her. I love her. She's kind of very hippie-ish, but just very smart and, like, right on it. And um, she's, like, one of the people that went... Or she's the person that went to go get the pedicure with us when Tanya and I went. And um, she is just um, very, very nice. And she house-sat and dog-sat for Tanya while she was gone. So... Tiny felt good, like, she could get away finally, you know, like, and, um, she felt like she was leaving the kennel in good hands and stuff like that. Usually when she's gone and she's, like, stressed out about stuff, she'll call and be like, I'm stressed out, like, I'm worried about that. I'm like, girl, just worry, the kennel is fine, you'll be fine. But I'm glad that she got away. Tiny actually hasn't taken a trip in forever. So... That's where Tanya's been. She gets back tomorrow. I can't wait to see her. Where is my lip balm? I'm just constantly rifling and digging through this bag, aren't I? Um, so then, yeah, Alex and I talked about that. Then I asked Alex what he wanted for. So I bought him on Amazon today because he was trying to figure out how he's going to set up this movie thing outside. And last year, when we did it, because Alex, you know, surprised me, and we had a little outside movie date night, because he wanted me to watch the Disney movies. I cannot find this flip ball. It's right on top. So, we sat outside, and he put a white sheet up in the door, and it was, it was fun to do it, but it wasn't like the greatest, you know, because it was like blowing in the wind and stuff like that. Not a song by Bob Dylan, but you know, or sung by Bob Dylan. But it was like blowing kind of and rippling a little bit. And so every time the wind would ripple, the, you know. So anyway, but it was fine. So I, uh, he had sent me this thing that he was like looking at maybe buying. And it was like this, I don't know how to explain it. It was like, It was like something just to like hold. He was going to put it on top of because he wants us to sit in the grass like with all of our chairs and blankets and stuff. So it was for like, to, it was going to go on top of like the deck rail and like hold, I don't know. But anyway, so I sent him a screenshot on Amazon of like, you know, these photography things that you can buy. It was like 38 bucks that, or maybe that was like 45. I think it was like 45 like these, you know, metal stands and stuff that like, you know, you can hold a sheet on it. And I said, we can just like set it out there and then you can like, we can watch the movie, you know, and on the white sheet. And he was like, okay. And then, um, so I surprised him and I bought like the backdrop too, the muslin backdrop. And he, so he texted me, he was like, oh, I, he was like, since you bought, cause I texted him, I told him, I said, I bought this so you can, it'll be nice for you, you know, this other one that I had found. And he said, he was like, oh, you're so sweet. He texted me back and he's like, I went ahead and bought the muslin background so we can have that too. So in the future, we can just watch movies. And I was like, babe, I just bought it for you. And so he texted me back and he, I was like, I was going to surprise you. And he, because he just wanted to use a white sheet originally. He texted me back and he's like, oh, well, I'll cancel the order. So anyway, so that's the birthday. And I don't know what else we talked about. I literally cannot tell you how bad my head hurts right now. Bad. Maybe I should drink some more of this coffee. It kind of makes me sick to my stomach, honestly. This is just 
straight coffee. No sugar, no equal, nothing in it. Oh, so then, and I was like, I didn't talk about this on my vlog last night. So last night and tonight, I went for a swim in my pool. And yeah, I did dives and I did handstands. And I got real scared, like when I closed my eyes underwater that I'd open them and the face of Jaws would be there. <laughs> I do though, I do kind of like even think that in my head, I get kind of scared about it sometimes. So anyway, um, I went swimming and had a good time. Yeah, loved it. Pool is a little icy when you get into it, but like it warms up real quick. Oh, last night I put a picture up on my Instagram, but I think I vlogged. I think I had finished vlogging before I, um, before I had made the, what do you call it? Uh, the picture on Instagram where I had gone, you know what I'm saying? Did you ever get a song stuck in your head? I have a song stuck in my head, I'm so over it. I have, I will survive, but it's the Priscilla Queen of the Desert version. I've literally been having it play on non, like nonstop for the last like five days, three to five days. I don't know what I want to do for my birthday. I don't care, I guess. I really don't. Like, I know that that sounds stupid, but I mean, I really do not care what we do for my birthday. I mean, this year for my birthday, it's like... Why is what I want to do for my birthday always associated with food, though? Like, I think, I've been thinking, like, I want one of those enchiladas that, um... I should just give the recipe to Alex and have him make it, because he's such a good cook when it comes to, like, when it comes to salad. So he could probably whip it up really well. Um, but I was thinking, like, that would be fun to have, like, a big enchilada, like, that day, and then go to the pool, and... Um, because it's on a Monday. And then I'd like to have maybe, this might change. I'd like to have a piece of pecan pie or a piece of key lime pie. But I think right now, like if you had to ask me, if you put out key lime pie, do you guys ever have conversations in your head about stuff like this? I swear to God, you guys want to know 99% of what I think about on a daily basis. It's literally like questions like this. I think to myself, okay, if somebody put out the most fantastic pecan pie in the entire world right in front of you with ice cream, with a vanilla, a scoop of vanilla ice cream and whipped cream, and the piece, a piece of the best key lime pie in the entire world, which would you have? Well, I thought I was gonna say key lime pie until I started talking about, until I started talking about ice cream and whipped cream and all of that. I don't know, now I think I might wanna have the pecan. I love pecan pie, I love it so much. Oh my God, I love pecan pie more than I like pumpkin pie. I really do. Oh, that's what I can do for this weekend for my husband. I can get some cheesecake for him because he loves cheesecake. Um, I'll get, well, how much is a whole cheesecake though? Like at Cheesecake Factory. I bet it's like 40 bucks, don't you think? I bet it's even probably more than that. There's, he likes this gluten-free, low-cal cheesecake. He thinks it tastes really good. But his grandma will make this, his abuela will make this, this uh, Dolce de Leche cake that he loves. And I don't know, so we'll pro I probably... I'll just get a couple. I'll get like a cheesecake from the grocery store. Because he might not even end up eating it. Like some days I'll be like, what do you, do you want something for dinner? And he'll be like, no, like I'm really watching what I eat. And then other nights he'll have like three, you know, bags of like smart popcorn or whatever and then other nights I'll be like what do you want to do and he'll be like do you want to get carry out pizza and I'm like okay I thought we were watching our you know diets so today though he came home and he's in great shape my he thinks he has gained weight I'm like you have not gained any weight you look sexy you've got a great figure he's got a great body I'm like still when I see my husband walk across the room in underwear I'm like damn that's my husband, you know? But anyway, anyway, uh, I know some of you out there are smirking, but... Now I just gotta get myself in that shape so he can say the same thing. But today, 
I texted him and I was like, what, I, I was like, how are you doing? I was just something like, how are you doing or whatever. He was like, I'm good. He was like, I'm going to get lunch right now. And I was like, oh, what are you getting? And he was like, Chipotle with like, you know, this emoji or whatever. And he's like, I know. He's like, I'm hungry. And then he came home tonight. Oh, well, he was eating before I came home and it was like he had warmed up something. And I said, oh, because he went to this Verde restaurant. He loved this restaurant in Indianapolis called Verde. It's like upscale uh, Mexican food and he loves it. And he went there the other night with his, like two of his friends or one of his friends. So anyway, I said, oh, is that your leftover Verde? Because it was in the fridge. And um, I don't even know what he had, but it looked delicious. And it's like this huge container. Alex is the king of take homes. Like he takes home food all the time. And if you're at a dinner table, <laughs> Like, back in the day, he would do this, but he doesn't do this anymore. But back in the day, like, if you got something and he, like, and you were just going to leave it there, it was like, he'd be like, well, I'll, I'll take it home if you're not going to eat it. That's when I first started dating him. It was so cute. Oh, look. I wonder if this is for Pride Day. Pride Month. Look at that. Hey. Well, all right, Zinesville, Zinesville Indiana. So, anyway. Um... Oh, so he was eating, and I said, what are you eating? And he said, I'm eating my leftover Thai from the other night. Okay, so let me tell you what happened with the Thai food. I don't know what night this was. What is today? Thursday going into Friday, so maybe this was Monday. He was like, it was like Sunday or Monday, I don't know. He was like, are you hungry? And I was like, yeah, I'm starving. And he was like, do you want Thai food? Did I tell the story on here? And I was like, oh, sure, that sounds good, because I always get fried rice from there. So he was like, what do you want? So I got online and I looked at the thing. I wanted this Hawaiian pineapple uh, fried rice. Now, when you go there at this Thai restaurant that's in Fishers, Indiana, they give it to you in a half of a pineapple. It's fantastic. It is so good, okay? But I read it and it said like dot, 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 shrimp, chicken, yada, okay? So, and I said, and then I wanted spring rolls, um, vegetarian spring rolls. So when he was ordering it, I could hear him on the phone. And I said, vegetarian, make sure that it's vegetarian. And I don't know if he did or not, but I'm pretty sure he did because he always does. When we order stuff for each other, like he knows I asked me vegetarian. So he gets it all the way home. Now it's like a 25 minute drive, 20, 25 minute drive. These houses through here are so adorable. I, I would live in any single one. I would live in any of them. I love all of them. It looks just like To Kill a Mockingbird and, but To, <laughs> to Kill a Mockingbird on like million dollar homes. Um, but anyway, I mean, look at these flowers right here. Do you see these flowers? They're so adorable. These just like bushes of flowers. And then you could just walk to the library. Here's the library right here. But anyway, so he gets home and I don't know what day it was. I was finishing like putting up a video because I had, I was like watching it back on the patio and I said, I'm watching. It stopped and I didn't know it. But anyway, um, so he was like, I'm really sorry. I was like, babe, don't worry about it. I'll just go get something else. And he was like, <clears throat> by the way, the spring rolls were delicious. I didn't eat those. I ended up getting an impossible Whopper with cheese. So, <clears throat> Which that's always really fun to order because then you have to tell them to do it in the microwave so that it's vegetarian, not on the grill. It's a mess. But anyway, but it's still good. It's still delicious. It's still fattening. So I said to him, oh my God, that dress in that dress shop was so cute. Um, there's the tree again, the pride tree. So I said to him, I said, um, you know what's so funny about that is that I was talking to somebody not too long ago and I said I would love to live in Zinesville. Like Alex would hate it. But I think it's so cute, this little town of walking around. And whoever I was talking to, like we were at like a dinner. This, I mean, it's not, it, this just wasn't like a month ago. This was like six months ago or something. But we were like at some dinner or something. I probably talked about it on here actually. And I said I would love to live in Zinesville. I think it's so cute. They have like a little town square, like really upscale, scales little store, upscale stores and like really cute cute restaurants and then there's like a rare bookstore and the library's right there and there's all these people that live in the town it's called the town and so 
I would love to live in the little town of Zinesville. It costs you for fortune to live in there, though. But anyway, whoever I was talking to said it's really homophobic. They don't like gay people in, like, the that area. I was like, what? I've never heard... What is that? That's a new little uh, burger joint. I literally had never heard anybody say that in my life, and I've lived in Indiana since I was four. So anyway, I've never heard that. And then they have a, pro they have a whole tree, pride tree. <laughs> yeah, they really hate the gays, don't they? So anyway, anyway... I digress. Um, so he was so mad and he called her back and she was like, well, did you order the Hawaiian pineapple? You ordered the Hawaiian pineapple. And he's like, yeah. And she said, well, it comes with chicken and shrimp. And he was like, oh, I didn't know that. And I was like, I told you to say vegetarian. Tell her that you said vegetarian. And he didn't say anything. <laughs> I was like, did you tell her that you said vegetarian? He goes, I don't know if I said vegetarian. I go, I don't know if you did either. <laughs> he goes, I wasn't going to be mean about it. I go, I understand. So anyway. <laughs> Tomorrow he'll be back on a diet. <laughs> Trust, if I didn't have to try to watch what I eat half the time, like my Impossible Whopper with cheese, I wouldn't, okay, ever, because I love to eat. I love to eat food. But no, do you guys ask yourself questions like that? <laughs> like these questions come up for me at the, the grocery store all the time, right? Like, oh my God, I just forgot something that I so loved. <laughs> oh God, I wish I hadn't remembered this. I used to go to this store. I was obsessed about this last summer. I would go to the grocery store and I would get a bag of sour cream and, uh, sour cream and uh, cheese. Is it sour cream? Sour cream and onion lays. I love those so much in the green bag. They're so good. Sour cream and onion lays is what I would get. And then I would get the sticks of Kroger Gouda. It has to be the Kroger Gouda, okay? And I would take a bite. This is so bad. I would take a bite of like the Gouda cheese and then I would eat like three chips with it. It had to like be mixed together. Why is this out of focus? I hate this thing. I hate you. <laughs> no. I love you. <laughs> and you're valuable. No, but um, I am, though. I really am. I'm worth about 50 cents. So, anyway, maybe a quarter on a good day. But <laughs> maybe, a, maybe a dime or a nickel. Anyway, um, I'm joking. But, so, when I'm at the grocery store, I do this, right? Like, I was just, God, I forgot all about that. That was so good. Do you know what else, else sounds really good right now? And I haven't had this in forever. Is that Michigan brand of cottage cheese. I love that so much. My mom used to eat it. She would, like, cut a pear in half, and she would eat it with, a, like, a pear half. Did you guys ever do that? Or tomatoes. My mom loved. My mom would get, like, big, ripe tomatoes. And she would, um put like tuna salad on top of it, which I've seen in restaurants. She let my mom made the best tuna fish salad sandwich. That's the only fish I've really ever eaten in my life is tuna. Well, crab meat rangoon and shrimp sometimes, but like in, ja you know, like in Japanese food, like if you go to hibachi or something like that. Now I don't anymore, not since being a vegetarian, um, but before that I kind of could. But even towards the end, I kind of couldn't stomach it. But my mom made the best, the best tuna fish salad sandwiches ever. She put all kinds of stuff in it. My stepmom even, she had, my stepmom made chicken salad. That's the bomb. She put grapes in it. She had like half grapes and put them in there. And then she would put like walnuts and like, uh, what do you call it? The, the little sweet gherkins or jerkins or, ah, gherkins, jerkins, whatever they're called, those pickles. I love those so much. Those are so good. <clears throat> and she would put all that stuff and make this chicken salad. It was the bomb. It was so good. I could just eat tons of those sandwiches back in the day. So anyway, um, that's me just living my best, living my best life eating chicken salad and tuna fish salad sandwiches, going to the pool every night, because I would, I would. Now I'm going to the pool again. See, I went two nights in a row. I'm gonna go to the pool this whole summer. I'm so excited about it. But anyway, just doing handstands and kicking. I was doing a little water aerobics tonight too. I thought that would never, it, doing a little water aerobics won't hurt nobody. <laughs> so anyway, I keep on getting off track. But when you're in the grocery store, do you ever do that? Like, okay. Now, I have to tell you that I really do love those, like, ice cream cones. You know what I'm talking about? I can't, the drumsticks. The drumsticks. 
But when you are buying a package of them, like it's so confusing these days because some of them have like that little malt ball in them. I want that so bad. Some of them have the malt ball in them. Some of them have like caramel into the bottom of it. Some of them are just plain old drumsticks. Who'd care? Why would you get those, okay? And all this kind of stuff. It's like, if you can, like my mother back in the day, I totally forgot about this. Like my mom ate so much ice cream. She was kind of obsessed with it. She would get a coupon for like, you know, Kroger or Marsh or something like that or Low Bills. And it would be like for a gallon of ice cream for 20 cents. And I would call her and she'd be watching a movie and she'd say, oh my God, my stomach hurts so bad. And I'd be like, well, why is your stomach hurt, mom? And she'd say, I just ate an entire gallon of vanilla ice cream. I'm like, mom, she used to make, what did she call them? The Sundays, the sun, Sundays, Sundays. Well, I just remembered our some family friends of ours, their dog's name was Sunday. And I always said to them, like, Sunday like the day, and he would say, like their one son would say, no, Sunday like, like ice cream Sunday. Who says ice cream Sunday? Their dog's name was Sunday though, I think, not Sunday. But any, <laughs> I don't know how I just remember that. But what are those called when you put like, my mom would do it. She would get like, you know, vanilla ice cream and then she would put the like the Hershey syrup in it where you like took the thing and you like made the like the, you know, the thing in the can, the can of Hershey syrup, right? That you pour over it, you heat it up. She would take it, I can remember, I don't know how I remember this. What were those Sundays called? Oh shoot, it's right on the edge of my hot, it's a house, something to do with a house. I wanna, roof, something roof Sundays. Anyway. So my mom would take the can of Hershey's, it's, it's, I swear to God, there's probably 20 of you out there that are like, oh my God, my mom did the same thing. She would take that can of Hershey's syrup and she would put it in like a bowl with water in the bottom of it. I don't know why the water in the bottom of it, but then she would like put it on the microwave or the stove or something, maybe she heated it up in the stove. Um, that's why she put it like in the water. I bet that that's why that probably makes sense then. And then so they would heat up the hot fudge and then we would pour it over the ice cream But then we would also have like caramel sauce Spanish pe uh, peanuts. You always had to have Spanish peanuts and um, Hot fudge Sunday. It wasn't she didn't call it a hot fudge Sunday though. She a hot tin roof or something tin roof Sundays or something I can't remember what she called it. Oh my god. They were so good so good. And then I, do you guys remember that hard shell stuff that you would pour over your ice cream and it would like, get, it would harden? I had to have that stuff. Oh my God, I had to have it. My mom would always be like, it's so expensive. It is so expensive. It really is, but I had to have it. Now there's all these Frogo places and stuff. I don't ever go to those places because I'm always watching what I eat. So I never enjoy anything because I'm never, you know. In Miami, Alex and I, was that the last time that we were there? It wasn't the last time that we were there. It must have been in like, well the last time we were there, so it must have been for Ultra. I think one night we went and got gelato, which I like, but I still don't think it's as good as ice cream. Oh, we did. Oh, we, no, 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 no. We went and got, I think it was gelato on Lincoln Avenue with Melissa and Jason. So that would have been for Ultra along that strip there, we stopped in. But I feel like we stopped into like a Baskin Robin, so maybe it was ice cream that we got, I don't know. Um, but yeah, do you ever like, at the store you're like, okay, if you could have one, of, I mean, you don't even end up getting any of it, right? But you're like, which one would be the best? You see this stuff, right? Oh, I know what I was gonna say, ice cream sandwiches. My mother was obsessed with ice cream sandwiches. At any given time, there was always a box of ice cream sandwiches in her, uh, freezer. My dad, what were the things that my dad liked? He called them something. They were like, they weren't ice cream sandwiches. They were something else. I'm going to say like Eskimo something, but I don't think that's right. I don't know. Um, I feel like that was the brand, maybe. But my mom, she was obsessed with ice cream sandwiches. I swear to God, she ate two of them a day. And But then, it's like you can have ice cream sandwiches that are covered in caramel or deep hot fudge. Why wouldn't you have those instead of Nope, she always just wanted the regular ice cream sandwich. She was obsessed with the regular ice cream sandwich. My mother, she would sit there truly, and she would like, she because she was obsessed with Dr. Oz, so basically anything that Dr. Oz said she thought was fact. And she would, um, so, which by the way, I just have to tell you something so funny. So, um, 
don't know why this is like a, like keep this a big secret or anything like that because it's anyway. Um, so, so I have two boxes back there from the post office and somebody keeps on sending me stuff from Joe Mercola. So Joe Mercola is one of Dr. Oz's really good friends and um, So I don't know if you know who Joe Mercola is, but he has a whole website. He sells products. And uh, like somebody sent me a Joe, Joe Mercola book and then they sent me his products. And I've never really said anything about it on here because I don't really know in what relevancy to bring it up. But Joe Mercola's girlfriend, his long-term girlfriend, is one of my best friends in life. She, I've known her since I was 19 years old. The reason I dated my first boyfriend, Jack, was because of her. I met her and Jack out the same night. And, um, she actually take care, took care of him. Um, he was very, very sick. And, um, passed away. And she took care of him, like, the last six months. And she's one of my dearest friends of life. And um, so it's so funny, because like every time, I don't know who it is out there. Thank you, I, I'll, I guess I'll see in the, the box, because it probably has a card in there or something. But the box says Mercola. I think the last time it was sent to me, I didn't, there wasn't a card in it, maybe. So I don't know who it is, but it's like, it's so funny to me. Well, thank you for the products, first of all, back there. It's like a body butter and it's some other things. Um, but I always look at it and I'm like, oh my God, this is so funny, because she's like one of my best friends in life. Actually, we had talked about her coming on and being on my channel and talking about what Peter was like back in the day. Okay, I had to stop that because I started going on and telling this very, very, <laughs> it's a funny story. It really, it's funny. And it's not about my friend, it's about me. It makes me look horrible. And it's about how she saved my butt one night. But since she's kind of somewhat of a public figure, I'll just leave that. <laughs> I don't, she would laugh. She would say, because she calls me girl. She'd be like, girl, I do not care. Girl, she'd be like, girl, just put it out there. That's, she'd think it was funny. She's constantly posting pictures on Facebook and tagging me in them from 20 years ago. So she better not, 30 years ago now, she better not care. But anyway, I love her dearly. And she's one of my dearest good duties in my life. And, um, just such a fantastic person and has been really inspiring to me in my life as well. So anyway, but I always think it's so funny when, um, like I get stuff from there. I'm like, this is so funny to me, you know? But anyway, there's that. <laughs> you guys were like, okay, there's that what? There's that exactly. That's, that's exactly it. There's just that. <laughs> but anyway, sometimes I go to the grocery store and I stand there like at the ice cream section and I say to myself, would you like to try the new Bobby, Bobby the, the new, my favorite ice cream in the entire world, I don't even think they make it anymore, is Ben and Jerry's Chubby Hubby, okay? <clears throat> and it's vanilla ice cream, and then there's pretzels covered with chocolate. It's so good, oh my God, I love it, it's so good. Um, but uh, they, were, they were smoking, they were like, hey, look at that over there. They were getting, having some fun over there, I guess. <laughs> anyway, oh, my head hurts. So, sometimes I stand in this store at the grocery store, though, and I'm like, what sounds better? Like, um... <laughs> I'm like, what sounds better? Does Is it... <laughs> I'm completely distracted. <laughs> by this like older couple you guys I mean literally like older I mean like a lot older than me and kind of like I don't know why it should surprise me nothing surprises me anymore but like older and kind of very clean cut and they're like it's smoking a blunt I think <laughs> I don't know why that's so funny to me I guess get your ganj if you have to anyway I'm just gonna pass them by because it's making me nervous <laughs> do your thing but anyway um, <laughs> I don't know why that surprises me. I mean, half of my friends that I know smoke weed, so I don't know why I think that that's like a, any big deal, but like whenever I see that, it's still like, ooh, you know what I mean? Like, I'm so weird when it comes to that. Back in the day, I would smoke, oh my God. Oh my God, I smoked so much weed back in the day. But anyway, so I'll stand there and I'll be like, do you want the new Ben and Jerry's? Do you want to try that? There's a cinnamon one that I really want to try so bad. Do you want to try the new cinnamon Ben and Jerry's? Or would you rather try uh, the, like, the, 
let's try, you, you've been talking about, I've been thinking this, okay? That I've been talking about the Hagen Dyes. No, that's where we went. We went to Hagen Dyes on Lincoln Drive. That's what we went because I thought it was boring. There, I just answered my own question. Or do you want the, the Hagen Dyes uh, coffee? Uh, ice cream or the old like the mint chocolate chip because that's what I used to have back in the day none of it It's boring. I was so mad that when we went there I was like we passed all these great ice cream places with sprinkles and mixing candies and froyos like, You can put gummy bears and all kinds of stuff in Although I wouldn't have that because I'm a vegetarian, but you can put all kinds of stuff in it You know peanuts and all kinds of stuff. I said peanuts with a T and we're coming to the boring haagen ice cream I was so mad about it It doesn't matter. My dream was ruined. <laughs> but I do, I do love, um, I, but I think about those things like all the time. Like, oh, I used to play this game when I was a kid. So my mom and dad both ha re like got every catalog in the entire world. I mean, every catalog in the entire world. From the Sears Wish catalog at Christmas, which was my all-time favorite, to Neiman Marcus, to that Humwockler or Schwimler, which had all the things in it, to Sharper Image, to Ann Taylor, to, I'm trying to think of, uh, uh, Jay Peterman, I love that catalog. That kind of looks cool. Actually, I got one of them not too long ago. I got online and I requested it and they sent it to me. So I, I think I'm on their mailing list now. But they only put a catalog out like every like year, every six months or four times a year or something like that. But I could not believe when I got in that catalog, they still have some of the same things that they had 30 years ago. Like I had this Hemingway hat and, but their stuff is so expensive. If you've never, if you don't know what Jay Peterman is, it's very classic clothing, but they have like a story for each thing. So like if you, like if it'll be a coat, it'll be like the story will say like let's say if it's a pea coat, right? And it'll say like 1965. Um, your grandfather, 1965. You just moved to Chicago, and it's 30 below every day in the winter, and. Um, you don't have a good coat so you go home and for the weekend and your grandpa who was in world war ii in the navy loans you his authentic pea coat um now every time that you wear it walking down michigan avenue you'll think of your grandpa and you'll also and all the you know something something and you'll think of your grandpa and you'll think of um whatever and then it's like pea coat 670 dollars <laughs> You're buying the story, okay? Old Navy Pico, forty dollars. <laughs> no story. You're buying the story. <laughs> no, you're not. You're buying probably higher quality stuff, and they really do have high quality stuff. Because I actually, back in the day, I would ask for stuff from there for Christmas, like sweaters and stuff, and I would get it. Like my dad would. I have the Hemingway hat. I think I still have it in my basement, and um, so. It's like this, like, flat bill kind of, like, long hat that he wore, like, in Old Man in the Sea and stuff like that. I feel like I should stop at the gas station and get, uh, gas. God, my head hurts so bad. So, yeah. So, anyway, um, damn it. Maybe I'll get a Diet Coke or Diet Pepsi while I'm there. I mean, because I need to listen to a little bit of my audiobook. I actually did listen to an hour of it last night. But anyway, back in the day with the catalogs, I used to go through there. And if anybody else has done this, we were meant to be best friends, okay? So I would go through the catalog, and I would say, like on the left-hand side, I'd say, oh, I used to do this with the Richard Scary books, too, when I was real little. Do you remember the Richard Scary books? Is that how you pronounce it? Scary? Scary? I don't know. I think it's Richard Scary. But it would have like houses and the little mice and people and things like that. I loved them so much. But those were my favorite books when I was growing up. I actually had them all in my basement. No, that's not true. I gave them to Carlitos and Sebastian. I gave them all away. I was like, you know what? Let somebody else enjoy them. I do not need this stuff anymore. I kept like a couple things that were like, like real favorites when I was growing up. But they were like, like one of my favorite books, like Go Dog Go, and there was another one like Come Over to My House. Those were two of my favorite books when I was a little kid. And uh, the Fish Out of Water, that was another one of my favorite books. And Are You My Mother? And those copies are not in the best condition anyway, so I just kept those and gave Sebastian and Carlitos the other ones. So, um, 
But anyway, and Liliana loves them because they have the words. So they'll have like house and then underneath it'll say like house and it'll say like iron and it'll say like iron or <laughs> I probably thought of that because of Sarah. But then it'll say like telephone and like because they're talking on the telephone and it'll have like, you know. So Liliana loves that for helping Carlitos and Sebastian um, with all of that. But anyway, to get back to the catalogs, what I used to do, so I did them with the Richard Scary books, but I used to also do them with catalogs. Even when I got older, I can remember doing this like in high school. Like I'd be sitting there, you know, like eating a sandwich and I'd be like, so I would go to each page and on each page I could only pick one thing that I wanted. <laughs> Did you ever do that? Like as if you were going through the catalog and you could order one thing from each page. So I'd be like, okay, if I was on this, I would order this <laughs> and I would order this. And that's how I went through these catalogs back in the day. Isn't that so funny? Why? Tell me why. Whatever happened to Winona Judd? I loved her so much. Grandpa, tell me about the good old days. I love that song so much. I love the Judds. I love Winona Judd. I'm gonna have to download some of her music. Oh, good thing that we're stopping for gas here in 2.2 seconds because uh, my battery is dying. Which, when I come back, I'm probably just gonna like end this vlog here in a little bit anyway because my head is really killing me. Grandpa. Tell me about the good old days. Did I ever tell you about this story about the made-for-TV movie, Love Can Build a Bridge? True story about the Judds. I will tell you about that in just a second. When I get back from getting gas. Grandpa. Tell me about this headache you have. All right, you guys, I will be back in two and two. Okay, I'm back. You guys, I'm kind of heated right now about my car situation. So, you know the thing on my car they told me was like the gas pump thing, which it has to be that. And I need to go get it fixed. <clears throat> so, I'm filling my gas tank. I paid for probably like 10 bucks of gas that is literally sitting. Like, I had to go, like, anyway. I come out from going, because I went in and I got a um, fountain pop. And I come out, and it's like I'm standing there as it's like pumping, and it's like making this weird noise. It was like, like you know how like the, it clicks, clicks, cl you know, like the normal sound. But then it was like every third or fourth, like it was like click, 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 whoosh, click, click. Whoosh. And I'm like, what is that sound? And I'm like looking, and it's going in. And all of a sudden I look down and there's like a puddle under my car. And I'm like, is that the gas? And so like I stop it and I look and gas is like coming out from like that area. So I don't know if there's like a leak, like where you put my gas in. I don't know what it is, but I'm gonna, I don't know how that happened. Um, but I'm gonna have to take it in and get it fixed because That's the first time that that's happened since I've been putting gas in my car. That, like, since, that's the first time since getting gas, since all of that, that that has happened. Where it's like, I haven't seen that before. I'm like, oh my God. So now, but I mean, I don't even care that much about the $10 of gas that I literally put in my car that's sitting on the ground. But, um, and I do care about the gas being on the ground, like, you know. It actually didn't look like that. I mean, I think I caught it at the very end. Maybe it's at the very end when it does that. I don't know, because like, I almost got my car full, but not, and I just stopped it. I was like, I'm not gonna put any more gas in here. I'm gonna call and find out what I need to do. There's a pillow just sitting in the middle of the street. <laughs> Somebody's gonna miss their pillow tonight. So anyway. Yeah, I'm over that. <laughs> over it. Oh my God, my head is killing me. And, Gas won't stay in my car. It's been one of those days. No, it's been a good day today. Today, I've been living my best life. I have, I mean, I got to go. There's more pillows? What's down here? Sheets, what is this? Sheets and blankets and... Looks like somebody was trying to go to sleep in their car and it, <laughs> stuff started blowing all over the place. Um, I had a great day today, it was beautiful. I got to sit outside my patio, you know, talk to friends. Got some videos up. Got to go swimming. I was, you know, it's, it's interesting, this whole idea of what is living your best life, you know? And it's like, you always hear it from these people that are like, 
all glammed out in the most expensive labels and live in these like unbelievable houses and drive unbelievable cars and all this kind of stuff. And I think, I don't know that I think that that to me is living your best life. I mean, don't get me wrong. Those things are all desirable, right? But I don't know that I think that that is like living your best life. I think, you know, living your best life is, did I make the most of my day and have an enjoyable day? You know, like it's the small things for me. So I'm gonna get off here now because it'll take me 10 minutes to get off here. You know how it is. And so I can listen to my audiobook, so I can listen to some, uh, the Night Stalker. But if you made it this far in the vlog, thank you for watching. And if you enjoyed this, excuse me, if you enjoyed this vlog, if you enjoyed this video, now I have the hiccups. If you enjoyed this vlog or this video, if you enjoyed this vlog and you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. And, um, Think about subscribing if you aren't already. And if you are, please make sure that you're still subscribed to my channel. And also uh, leave a comment in the comment section below if you'd like. And, or just a blue heart for the OG wolf pack over here that all of us just trying to get through life one day at a time. I love this car right here, this Infinity SUV. I think it's beautiful. Um, all of us just trying, but it's too big. I didn't need that kind of car. And it's too expensive. But <laughs> all of us just trying to get through life one day at a time. And yeah, doing the best we can just to get through life and put some positivity out there in the world. And I hope you guys are having an amazing, it's tomorrow Friday? Yeah, I hope you're having an amazing Friday. And I have my hair cut tomorrow. Hope you're having an amazing uh, Friday unless you have other plans. But like I always say, don't have other plans. Make the most of your day. Do something fun, do something exciting, start a new show, watch a new movie, start a new book, start a new craft. I don't know, cook something delicious. Do something fun. Sit outside in your front porch or just sit in the grass. Walk in the grass with your bare feet. I love that. It's one of my favorite things. And uh, go for a swim. Go for a night swim. I love night swims. And uh, do something that will make yourself proud when you look back on it um, tomorrow or the next day or next week or next month or next year or five years or 10 years or 20 years or 50 years or 60 years or 69 years or 80 years or 88 years or 100 years or 110. And if nobody else has told you this today, I love you. Make sure that you, and also do something towards working towards your dream life today. Just one thing. If you could have the life beyond your wildest dreams, what would that look like? And what can I do today to work towards that? Just one thing, that's all you have to do. When we're working in the right direction. And um, if nobody else has told you this today, I love you. Make sure that you look at yourself in the mirror every single uh, day when you get up and you say, I love you, and at least one positive affirmation, like you are valuable. And also before you go to bed at night, say to yourself in the mirror, I love you, and at least one positive affirmation, or many more if you'd like, like you are valuable. Um, also every night before you go to bed, say tomorrow is going to be an amazing day. I'm gonna be happy, joyous, and free all day tomorrow. I'm gonna laugh, I'm gonna sing, I'm gonna dance. I might cry, and that's okay. I just wanna feel. I just want to feel, you know, inside, and um, I want to live, I want to live the best life I possibly can, and uh, I want to talk to friends and family, and maybe even spend some time alone, because I enjoy my own company, and I'm going to have great opportunities come my way, and I'm going to have really positive experiences all day long, I'm going to have positive experiences all day long, and if something gets me off track, I can start my day over whenever I want, and when you get up tomorrow, say the same thing, when you get up in the morning, say to yourself, Today is going to be an amazing day. I'm gonna be happy, joyous, and free all day today. I'm going to sing and dance and laugh and start something new that I really love, like a new book or something, you know, or a new TV show on Netflix to get excited about. And um, I'm gonna call up some friends and I'm gonna laugh and talk and I'm gonna spend some time alone because I enjoy my own company as well. And great opportunities are gonna come my way and I'm gonna have positive experiences all day long. And if my day gets off track, I can start my day over. And if my day gets off track, well, I can start my day over whenever I want. Just say, I'm gonna go start my day over right now. And if nobody, uh, I was gonna go back to what I just said before. <laughs> we'll skip to the next one. And most importantly, make sure that you reach out to somebody today and let them know how much they mean to you. Just call them up or text them and say, hey, I just wanted to let you know I was thinking of you. How you doing? Just check in. It feels good when someone checks in with us. So let's pass on that energy and pay it forward and check in on somebody else and say, I was just thinking of you. How you doing? You know. And uh, you don't have to be all, I love you, but you can if you want. We're so afraid of that word, I love you, right? 
I don't know why. And uh, I'm not. I never have been, <laughs> which is probably why I say I love you to people five days after we've started dating. <laughs> True story. But I've never been afraid of that word. I don't know. And uh, I don't think you. I don't think we should be afraid of that word. And not just in the romantic, you know, context, but just leaving, living our lives from a point of love and, uh, and doing, you know, doing good, trying to do good, trying to do the best that we can. And also practice random acts of kindness. But like I always say, don't tell anyone, just do it because it's the right thing to do. We don't have a need to tell anybody. Um, and yeah, I think that's it. So... Anything else? No, I think that's it. I love you guys, and I will see you tomorrow. Bye. Since I had so much fun tonight, I thought I would just give you guys one last, one more I love you, one last I love you. And um, I know I forgot to tell the Judd story, the Wynota Judd. Uh, love can build a bridge, the true story of the Jets. So if I remember, I'll tell it tomorrow, but I've told it on here before many times. <laughs> so I'm sure that nobody will miss it. Anyway, I love you guys and I will see you tomorrow. Bye.